kind of important here again is getting that anticipation arrival of that chord and eighth note early even on the chart if it says b7 on measure two you're actually hitting on the and of four okay that's when you listen to it that's what gives it the harmonic momentum you know the four in motion is that anticipation arriving early to the chord and then the bass arrives You're doing three note shapes. I really love those three note voicings. Even on that A minor seven, I'm just doing three note. The A section here. Listen to it with just a little bit more color starting from the A minor seven uh, to the D9. I'm gonna suss it out and do a little bit of, of what I was just demonstrating there. D9 sus4, D9, D minor 9, D minor 6 9, D minor 7 flat 5, D fully dim, C major 7, to C6, C major 7, and C6. That way, the idea is every two beats, there's something moving within the shape. Like again, if you were to listen to an orchestral arrangement, you would hear like a string or a voice going... So, you know, first of all, when analyzing and listening, you have to know what key she's in. And again, that's not written on the chart in the fake book. This is where you want to listen to these recording, and that's the 11. So I wouldn't just do this, but I would go X. Uh, I wrote C major 7 to C major 6 on the chart, but I wrote it because it was a two measure. Hopefully you're looking at the lead sheet there, C major 7 and then C major six. But when I'm listening to this recording, or here, they're going back and forth within the same measure. It's a groove. One, two, three, and. One, two, three, and. One, two, three, and. And one, two, three, and. Uh, in this case, it's just a one bar pattern, but you're gonna hear a lot of variation within that. But again, it's nice to have a couple different patterns to vary from. Notice the bass on one and three. One, two, three, and, and one, two, three, and, and one, two, three, and, and one, two, three, and. So here it is slow. One, two, three, and, and one, two. It's just a one bar pattern. But we want it pretty moderate. Seven, a minor seven, we're in the key of A minor, B seven. But I want I want you to notice that I'm only doing three note shapes and then E seven. Because it's such a fast, quick change, you're gonna find that that's gonna be um, easier instead of a full, you know how it's a one bar pattern? One, two, three, and, and right there, one, right before, on the and of four, when you have a new chord coming up, as in the second measure, the B7, you have to change early. You're anticipating it. One, two, three, and, and 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 then F major seven. I'm doing F major seven like this. F major seven is coming out of the Cowboys, like a C chord, but you just do this. You know, you just lift up that, but over here it's this. And one, two, three, and, and one, two, three, and, and one, two, three, and, and one, two, F major, and one, two, three, and, A minor, one, two, three, and, three, and now it's a half dim, and one, two, three, and, one, two, three, and, and 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 one, two. If you want to get fancier, listen to this. <laughs> 
A minor seven, A minor six. What I'm saying is it creates this nice little voice leading. Right here. So I'm playing it like this, if, you get, if this is new for you. I'm playing the E in the bass, and I'm going, I'm going ahead and using all five notes of the chord. I'm going E. I did simplify the chords B7, E7, A minor seven. That B7, by the way, is the five of the five. It's a secondary dominant. It's kind of bluesy. I always think of that sound as, you know, it's a little bit brighter, a little bit bluesier, and it even adds the blue note of the A minor chord, and that's gonna be the melody note. See? Very bluesy. It's kind of very bluesy in inflections there. So that's where that B7 chord is. Instead of what you would typically think in a key of A minor, you would hopefully think B minor seven flat five. Like you're playing Black Orpheus. But in this case, the two chord is dominant. And that's the secondary dominant, bluesier sounding. And that's now the beginning of the A section, one. Okay. And then E7. And I'm just doing plain old three note shape, just like before, A minor seven. D9, okay, hopefully that D9 is not new for you. Instead of a D7, the chart might just say D7, but D9 is definitely more colorful. This is definitely now more of what I would be doing. So B7, E7, A minor seven, D9, D minor nine. I'm just playing exactly as I wrote it, G13. C major seven, C major six. And I love that da -da. in that Struge Gilberto version, you hear that, that movement, except the guitar is doing it twice as fast. Okay. And that's fine. Again, I'm hoping that you learn these little tricks to where if you see a major seven chord on the chart, for two bars, you can go seven, six, seven, six. Either fast like that or a full measure each. Okay. And that's where the B7. E, then E7, full measure, A minor seven, D9, D minor nine. Okay, notice D, mi D9 to D minor nine. Only one note changes. G13. And that, that E is common. The E's been common through the last couple chords there, three chords. C major seven to C six. Yes, the E still stays there. As a matter of fact, that's the melody note. And then now we're off into the B section. So A minor seven, we'll do two bars of A minor seven to lead us to the B section. One, two, three, and. E7, A minor 7, D9, D minor 9, G13, C major 7, C6, B7, one, two, and, 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 and one, two, three, and, and one, two, three, and, and one, two, three, and E9. A minor seven, A seven. I know I've talked about this before, but you could do D minor nine, D diminished seven, C major seven. And that's a really beautiful sound. D my, instead of the G at all. <laughs> um, just, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. Just kind of mixing and matching these colors. Listen to it with just a little bit more colors starting from the A minor seven uh, to the D nine. I'm gonna suss it out and do a little bit of, of what I was just demonstrating there. Did, there was D9 sus4, D9, D minor 9, D minor 6 9, D minor 7 flat 5, D fully dim, C major 7, 
to C6, C major seven, and C6. That way, the idea is C. That'd be a chord melody. 